This is a HeadGum Podcast. Picture this. You just wake up on a Monday morning. And you go downstairs because you live in a two-story home. And you go downstairs and the floor is cold in the kitchen. But there's also crumbs on it because you you fried some fish last night. <laughs> You fry some fish and there's crumbs and you were eating the fish as you were like, because you're, you're single, you know, you're a single man. So you eating the fish, basically, you don't sit down to eat the fish. You like, or eating the fish as you kind of like, you take it out of the pan and you kind of like, <laughs> you know, it's fried fish, like some catfish, <laughs> some whiting, something like that. You know what I'm saying? Because, yeah. you, you know, you grew up in the South. <laughs> and, and you, you're like, damn, I got these crumbs. I should have worn my Crocs. I should have put my, where are my Crocs? But now I gotta like wipe the crumbs off in the trash. So you put your foot over the trash and you kinda like wipe the crumbs off the bottom of your foot over the trash can. And then you go get your crocs and you go back to the kitchen. You open the fridge up and you got and what am I want what do I want for breakfast? And you got two eggs, but you look at the expiration date and it's they're expired. And you got some cap and crunch in the in the fridge. Not in the fridge. Why would you have it in the fridge? It's in the, it's in the <laughs> cupboard. You got some Captain Crunch in the cupboard, and you look in the fridge, and you got you got some regular milk, and that's what you like. But also, this girl you were seeing brought over some oat milk. The regular milk is definitely expired. You open that bitch up, and you're like, "Ooh, shit! <laughs> oh, that's ooh. it!" Like makes you cough a little bit, and you try to pour it down the sink, and it's like, "Plap, plap, 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 <laughs> plap, 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 plap." So you let the water run a little bit so that can get down the drain. It's not gonna clog the drain. It's just curdled milk, and then you you get the oat milk, and you're like, you, pour, you the oat milk is fine, but you don't really know if it's good or bad because you taste it, and it's like, kind of has a salty taste to it, but I think it's okay because that's kind of what oat milk tastes like. Why did this? Why did this girl bring this shit over here? I don't know. She could have just drank the fucking regular milk. Ah, she's so. I'm about to stop talking to her. <laughs> and then. <Milked> <laughs> She fine though. <laughs> she is fine. I'll use some of this. So you pour the milk into the Captain Crunch. And you start eating. And you go, See, I can taste the difference. I don't know why people say you can't taste the difference between the oat milk and the regular milk. I can taste the difference, but it's fine. And then you turn on Colin Cowherd, and he's talking about Jordan Love. <laughs> and he's talking about how he didn't believe in Jordan Love when he first got to the Green Bay Packers. But this weekend showed his resilience and showed what he was capable of. And you just go, what the fuck? How did they lose that game? (laughs) Because it's what the fuck day. (laughs) Where your favorite teams lost games that they were not supposed to lose. Well, two of our favorite teams. (laughs) Yes. And one of hate. and one of them. That's hate. How's it hate? I, I know who you're excluding from that. They both of their teams won. Oh, my team lost. Yeah, your okay. team got the shit beat out of by the worst team <laughs> okay. in the fucking All league. Right. All right. <laughs> it's, it's what the fuck day. It's what the fuck day. What the fuck what day? The fuck because day. there's been a lot of what the fucks. What the fuck is happening in the league right that now? That was one lot. of the craziest Sundays. Truly surreal. Like a surreal NFL Sunday where you had like an old timey game broke out, <laughs> like where you had 70 points scored. You guys think it's weird? It's weird that the highest scoring games and the games with all the records for passing and shit are in the 40s. Wouldn't mm-hmm. you have, like, if you mm-hmm. didn't know yeah, that, I was thinking it's about so that. weird. But I, w- what was going on back then that those games were racking up those? It was it just it. lack of parity, probably, I guess, right? I think it was yeah. white cornerbacks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah like, white truly, secondaries. White Did you secondary. see the milk check thing with Josh Allen? <laughs> yeah, milk check. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then, like, yeah, that's why, like, Dick Nitrain Lane would get 14 picks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Norm uh, Van Bronklin and all these Because picks. the receivers, the white receivers were still good. Yeah, yeah, but the white corners have never been good. No, there was no good. close. <laughs> there was no closing speed. So if no, they caught a good catch in in the open, they were just gone. Is it just a touchdown? Yeah, just a four year old Jason Seahorn out yeah. there trying to fucking <laughs> run a guy down. You're the, already the best. It's like Children of Men. <laughs> He's already the best white corner in the world at four. And then you, Riley Moss. Oh yes, Riley. Do you Moss. remember that uh, when he got drafted? <laughs> Some 
sports commentator said. Yeah. Uh, they said, and I'll say the Broncos drafted him. Uh, the Broncos draft a rare white cornerback. <laughs> <laughs> they said that on TV. <laughs> they tweeted it. <laughs> yeah, you don't need to. <laughs> yeah, just, we don't need to say it. Say it like he's Iowa a Pokemon card. <laughs> <laughs> it's a holographic. It's rare. Uh, well, we should welcome our guest, you guys. Yeah. Okay. Speaking of what the fuck, so we... Uh, we've got Hassan Williams here. Hassan yeah. Williams, you know him. If you listen to uh, our Patreon show, Carl calls his cousin. You know Hassan is my cousin. Mm-hmm. And, and uh, it seemed like a great idea last week to bring you on when your team was in first place I in the league. I just did what Kevin told me not to do. Too. I, me what? too. I've been doing it. It was sliding off, and I was just like, Sleep. Oh, you touched the, yeah, the, the, yeah. the cube? Yeah, I touched the cube. I was gleaming the cube. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great new euphemism <laughs> for tickling your balls. Yeah. You <laughs> Fine, what were you saying? I'm sorry, I cut show. you off. Uh, <laughs> uh, Asan, your team was in first in our Foosball were... Fantasy League, and Dallas, your your real life team, was uh-huh. seemingly the team to beat in the NFL. Now, one of those things is still true. One of those things is still true. But Unfor- what the fuck happened to the Cowboys on? Sunday? I don't know. I, I I've been bragging for weeks that the Cowboys their uh, their strength was their the front seven, and uh, even when uh, Trayvon Diggs Trayvon Diggs went down, I was like, it's okay because our strength is our front seven. Nobody can run the ball on us. And then cut to twenty four hours later, the Arizona Cardinals put up like two hundred rushing yards in the first half, and I'm like, God, James Connor, James Connor had a yeah. game. I love the guy. He's as a Steeler, I love yeah. them. Crazy. It's a great story, you know, bounce mm. back after cancer and everything. But I didn't think he was still going to be doing this at this point on no. that team. Yeah. I got to be, I got to take an L on that one. I thought last year was going to be a fluke with James Conner because he was a solid mm-hmm. fantasy running back, put up good numbers, like scored a ton of touchdowns, yeah. scored, like mm. moderate amount of yards. And uh, he's he's proving himself, and so is Hollywood Brown. Hollywood Brown's Hollywood having a Brown's good year. Hollywood Brown's having a good year. That's a that's a viable fantasy pick. He's probably available in a lot of leagues. I think a lot of people don't believe in Josh Dobbs. I think Josh Dobbs is trying to prove himself. He's last two weeks, he's been looking good. Did you see the video today of him trying to buy his own jersey at the team store? Yeah, and it's yeah, not they didn't an have option. It. They didn't have it. How do you not get your quarterback? I mean, no, he just. That's the other crazy thing for how well he's playing. He fucking got there like a month ago. Yeah, yeah. He got there. He like missed the preseason. You remember yeah, they like yeah. added him? Who was it? The- he was a backup in Cleveland. Yeah, mm. he was a backup for Pittsburgh at one point too. Yeah, he's where did he come from? Tennessee? Was it Tennessee? Yeah. yeah. He, uh, was it was it Tennessee? Was he at Tennessee? We're about to find out. Josh Dobbs or was he computer? At, was he at no- <laughs> computer? He wasn't computer? at no- where computer. Was computer? Was where was Josh Dobbs in college? <laughs> Brian, Josh Dobbs attended the University of Tennessee. Brian. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> <laughs> Uh yeah, Connor man, he had a game. <clears throat> Do you think other running backs hate James Connor because that was like the start of the end of running backs not getting paid when Le'Veon Bell held out and James Connor just came in and balled out oh, and man. everyone was like, oh, we can all just let our backup man, go. Man, that's <laughs> a lot of dots to connect to really hate a guy. Yeah. <laughs> Are you asking if James Connor is a is a scab running back? He is. He's <laughs> essentially the scab running back. He's the Drew Barrymore of running backs. Yeah. Also, that really, like, people already have their negative opinions about football players, but if they all hate the dude that had cancer. I know, that'd be tough. Oh, John, oh I hate it because of the cancer. No, no. That John Jonathan Taylor seeks him out after the game. I, want, I got a bone to pick with you, pal. I had bone. No, no, not, not because of your bone not, cancer. No, I'm not going to touch one of those. Yeah. <laughs> Ew. <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> Gotta teach they this guy hate. that's not how cancer works. Yeah. <laughs> it's like guys who didn't want to play against Magic. Magic yeah. <laughs> <Carl Malone. laughs> I ain't playing against him. He's sweating all over the place. <laughs> I have to be at a local middle school. <laughs> Finding my new wife. <laughs> <laughs> local middle school. <laughs> that's just wrong. They let him play. <laughs> anyway, this is my wife. She's 11. <laughs> This is Miss Malone. <laughs> you would address her as such. <laughs> Listen, man. All right, let's 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 get to know our guests real quick because we've all talked about our football histories. Asan has a rich football history. Uh, he does not really pay close attention to the NFL. Uh, but he well, he that's did fucking embarrassing for us. <laughs> He's in fucking first place in the league. Yo, it is embarrassing. I was I was the first person to lose to him. I was pissed off uh. <laughs> because of Joe Burrow and Jamar Chase, which. Also on my what the fuck list. At least yeah. Chase had a good week. This Chase week. did have a good week. Finally pulled it together. They force fed him. They I were think like, I finally won a game in our league. 
Uh, I think it was against Jamel Johnson. No, you got uh, a couple wins local in our funny league. Man. I think oh, I'm you know Glove Jordan Love. Yeah, I'm, I'm two and one. Because yeah. you and I yeah. play each other this week, we're both two and one. It's the first inner host matchup. In no, the that's big. Yeah. Who did I beat second week? And I just lost Mike Someone Williams beat. for the season. Damn. Oh yeah. Right yeah. when he was having a baller game. Yeah. Too. He was good. Keenan, right. Keenan Allen threw him a touchdown. Keenan Allen, Keenan Allen went off. Speaking about Allen. guys you thought were too old to be doing this shit anymore. Every Charger is risky every season. Yeah. Yeah, don't touch but him. But Allen, for a while, was like the slow and steady. You can get like yeah. he's gonna get a lot of catches. You know, a Puka Nakua type, if you will. <laughs> <laughs> I've he's always Puka-esque. said that about Keenan Allen. He just reminds me of a young Puka <laughs> Nakua. Yeah, you would say that. You've been saying that for years, and it <laughs> freaked us out. Yeah, 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 yeah. Who are you talking about? <laughs> You'll see. We thought you were a time traveler. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's got an almanac. <laughs> yeah. oh, you're having like little mini seizures like, yeah. in the midst of your. Well, if you don't know what it is, it does sound kind of offensive for me to be saying. Yeah, why are you calling that man a puka nagua? What do you mean by that? What does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> what is that a reference to? That like in Spanish, like he's un what poco, weird... un poco nagua. Yeah. What weird Pittsburgh racist? Yeah, 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 yeah. Was that Keenan was that fucking puka nagua over there running around. Look at this goddamn puka nagua. <laughs> <laughs> it does sound so bad if you don't know what it is. <laughs> Nakua. <laughs> what a racist phrase. <laughs> anyway, Alan went nuts. But, yeah, Alan uh, did go nuts, yeah. Asan, tell us about your football history, my Football man. history. Um, I, uh, My mom was a Dallas Cowboys fan in the 90s, and that transferred to me. Uh, as I started to grow older, I became a Cowboys fan in the times when they were really, really bad. Uh, I became a fan around like the Vinny Testaverde era. And then, <laughs> yes, wow. very bad. Uh, but they had, you know, they had T.O. They would have a, uh, they, you know, they had a great defense at that time. Um, Where were you living? I was living here. I lived in, in L.A. L.A. Yeah. Cowboy fan. Yeah. Okay. My mom became, and she would take me to like the, the Oxnard training camps when I was younger. She oh, dated cool. Ken Norton back in the day. She was up. a cowboy. Yeah. Crazy. Okay. Yeah. Crazy. <laughs> one of my high school coaches. Crazy. I think most, if you're a true sports fan, most people would be like, I would have been okay with my mom leaving my dad. <laughs> Oh yeah, <laughs> to date a player sure. from their favorite team. Oh, hell yeah. sure. Or yep. you don't really like sports. That's just my opinion. I wanted, yeah. I, I wanted my mom to, to marry Shaq so bad. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Just find a way to meet him. Yeah, Shaq and well, we got to go uh, from the Staples or not Staples Center, been the forum at the time. Also, it's probably kind of problematic because my mom, my, like, when my mom's young and mm. like when she was even, she's a very attractive woman. Like even especially when she was like in her late twenties and thirties, <laughs> and I, and she's like the same age as Shaq yeah. and Chris Webber, both of those two players. <laughs> And I was like, Ma, you could do it. I'm like pimping my mom out. Like, Ma, you look good enough to do it. You can- but only Hassan succeeded. Right, yeah. right, right, right. <laughs> you got Ken Norton. Right. Yeah. Mom, he's a defensive player. He's my mom smashed Dan Sally yeah. <laughs> I don't even know. I wish I knew who that was. Who? It feels like it would have been funny. Dan Sally Amua. Who is that? <laughs> Colossal Samoan player. <laughs> <laughs> the Oos was, uh, was taking your mom out. That's crazy. <laughs> How long did she date Ken Norton? I don't know. It must have been just a little while. But, like, it was crazy because when I went in high school, and it, I think me and Carl were at the same USC camp, but we went. I went to a USC camp in college, and Ken Norton was coaching linebackers there. and uh, Or he may have been defensive coordinator at the time. I can't remember. But uh, when I met him, like, he said hi to my mom. and was like, hey, I remember you. You know, I was like, oh, this is weird. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it was fun, though. It was a good time. But, uh so, yeah, I was a Cowboys fan from way back. Uh, I played high school football uh, in Southern California at Cajon High School. Go Cowboys. Uh, funny enough, they were the Cowboys. Uh, I right. played. <laughs> so lucky. Through and through. Yeah, crazy. Um, I played O-line for most of my uh, high school career. I played most of mostly tackle and guard. And then I played for one year in college. I played uh, a redshirt freshman year before I decided I didn't want to play football anymore. And I played center at uh, Zusa Pacific University out here in uh, sunny California. Right on, man. Sick. Wow, I didn't know you played played in college. That's yeah. Crazy. Ryan, fellow center. Yeah, fellow center. Um, I played up to middle school. <laughs> 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 but the center bond runs deep. Yeah, runs deep. yeah, yeah, yeah starts, we know. Starts, you know you yeah, know. we know. We know yeah. the, the, the shame of a fumbled yeah. snap. Yeah. If any of you saw Mike Webster on the street, you'd dap him up. Yeah. <laughs> you'd have to. <laughs> yeah. The GOAT. Who's the oldest? Though? That was the oldest center I could think of. Je- Jeff Saturdays. There you go. Jeff there you Saturday. Go. Anthony Jeff. Munoz, was he a center or was he a tackle? Uh, tackle. tackle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Most famous linemen are tackles. Yeah. Let's talk Except about Jason that. Kelsey. Yeah. Jason Kelsey's probably the most famous O-lineman right now. And but, he's a center. 
Yeah, I'd say he's the most famous. Most famous, yeah. But it's yeah. but is he's the, the most famous Lance. because of Travis. Should we talk about it, guys? <laughs> should we talk about the I elephant mean, in the room? Yeah, that's what I sh- that's what my picture this should have been about. <laughs> Cuz it's fucking The, the T Swift. T Swift. Uh, uh as a Chiefs fan, I fucking love it. Do you feel it. like it's a distraction? <laughs> yeah. Uh, How do you feel? every like on Chiefs Twitter, it was so just all the dorks. They were like, uh there is a football game going on, you know. Uh, can we talk about the football game? First like, of all, shut the fuck up. This game sucks. Yeah, no, there isn't. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I said this to Ryan on the morning. I was like, First of all, the no, Bears season is so insulting, and this is worse. If you invite Taylor Swift to your game against the ba- like, it's a game you know you're going to fucking win. Yeah. <laughs> you don't invite 100%. Taylor Swift if you have a shadow of a doubt mm-hmm. you're going to lose. Yeah, yeah, you're going. You, you want her to see like a, a cakewalk where you look amazing basically you, she want you want her to see you play middle schoolers yeah, yeah. <laughs> he scored yeah he scored uh, her clearly let's fucking go when he scored was great Buddy. it made me like her <laughs> Buddy. yeah that's what did it <laughs> that, that and her dancing it. to a millie at the award show did you see that <laughs> the the other yeah, yeah, yeah some little wayne was singing a millie and she was Buddy. vibing out i was like that's likable <laughs> i never thought i would care about something like this i hope they get married Damn! Big <laughs> I words. The, big, big I want words. them. I want them to get married. I want them nah. to be happy. I want. Travis belongs with a black woman. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. he, he may be having his little fun. Yeah, he's, he's but a, he's, he knows where he's home in a is. Phase right I now. He knows, I he knows where he got to come back to. <laughs> I did see someone tweet. This is the closest Taylor Swift will come to dating a black man. <laughs> <laughs> Just dating someone who talks like Travis. <laughs> Very surprised I, she likes it. Man. I've seen uh, so yeah, many jokes too. about Swifties learning football, but Ryan makes me realize that we're also going to see diehard Kansas City football fans becoming Swifties, which Buddy? is equally funny. <laughs> Buddy, I've been listening to her in the car. <laughs> oh, my God. I mean, What's honestly, your favorite song? Uh, 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 um, Shake It Off. Yeah, Shake It Off. Fun. My favorite is Style. That's a good song. I don't know. I barely listen to her. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so I'll take some recommendations. Yeah. Oh, I like Anti Hero. I like that Oh, that's one. a good one. There's I do a know new that one. one, right? The one she got with Ice Spice is not terrible. There's another one on that album, though. They were just playing it last night at the Korean barbecue spot. I was like, this is. <laughs> This Taylor's kind of jamming in here. I don't know, maybe it's the football thing. On, me... Did you see Ice Spice's brother is like a four star QB in yeah. New York? Really? Yeah. No. And they're saying they got someone was like, you got his nickname has to be Sporty Spice. Sporty Spice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm throwing. I'm just saying all these tweets that I saw, and not giving credit to anyone. Does he Sorry. have red hair too? No, no. He's got that, I don't got think this, hers is naturally same exact red. Cut. He looks like <laughs> there's like Drake London with that same exact cut. <laughs> uh, I had a dream. Like the the Taylor Swift Travis Kelsey stuff was so prominent. Uh, I had a dream about it that night where uh, <laughs> <laughs> I I had an improv show and I showed up and everyone was wearing Chief stuff because they were so excited about Taylor Swift and there was like, oh, is she going to be at this improv show? And um, when you showed up, you had to sign in. And you had to say which Chiefs jersey you were wearing, and I was the only one wearing a Neil Smith jersey. <laughs> <laughs> I was real proud of that. <laughs> now let's unpack this. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What sexual trauma? <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of Freud. Yeah. <laughs> All right, now uh, it's time for me to roast Asan. Oh no. Uh, see, Asan is the type of fan that I hate. <laughs> With the passion and fire of 1,000 An incredibly handsome one? Is that what you mean? No, I love handsome fans. <laughs> <laughs> Who's your favorite handsome fan? My favorite handsome fan? Well, of course, it's my favorite Dallas Cowboys fan is Matthew McConaughey. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty fair. Good. That's, That's a good fair. Handsome pretty, fan. pretty handsome fan, yeah. My favorite, uh, favorite Saints fan is Brad Pitt. <laughs> Is he a Saints fan? He did. A, he 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 spends a lot of time in New Orleans. He after Katrina, he came down and like rebuilt full neighborhoods. And they made that. And they made that Killing Them Softly movie. That must have been shot in New Orleans. Killing Them Softly. Is that? Yeah, yeah. He's like a, a like he's like assassin. a hitman. Oh, I didn't see that. I thought you were talking about a, a documentary. Yeah. <laughs> about about Lauren <laughs> the, Hill. The Levy's breaking. Oh. And it was called Killing oh, Them Softly. Oh yeah, that would have been a tough title for that. No. I don't remember that. Killing Them Softly. <laughs> Oh, hey, Brad, shots of flood in New Orleans. Yeah. Yeah. In my pain with this like the scary version. Oh, my God. Cream on it, on it, 
in this world. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. <laughs> if that didn't get him canceled, nothing will. <laughs> Brad, are you sure about this? Never been more sure about anything in my entire life. Now it's he, a visual poem. <laughs> from the mind of Jordan Peele. <laughs> what? Uh, now, he, uh, he, so Asan, the other, we were, yesterday we were on the phone. First of all, Asan does this thing where he calls me and doesn't listen to me while I'm talking. <laughs> And so we're talking about Anthony Richardson, and he's like, he played, what did he play, running back? Oh, <laughs> no, Anthony, no. Richardson, Anthony Richardson played running back, right? And I go, no. I heard Trent Richardson. And I'm like, why would I, why, we're talking about what happened in football today. <laughs> why would I be talking about Trent Richardson, a running back who has not played football in fucking 10 years? I don't know when the last time. The Broncos just straight at a first round pick for him. So <laughs> Recently? Is he still playing? Nah, nah. No, no way. <laughs> When's the last time Trent Richardson played? Uh... He was a 2012 Fourth overall pick. Because he was in Alabama, third. right? He was yeah. an Alabama running Yeah, he's 33. Yeah. Was he third? Uh, third. He was he's spread after. already. I feel like that was like. Andrew Luskin, he played when I was RG3. in college. That's crazy. Uh, yeah, he hasn't played for a NFL team since 2014. Oh, oh man, wow. dude. That's two years in the league. And then he no. went Oakland and Baltimore's practice squad, but he never made it to the roster. Woo. Oh, man. That one surprised me because he was he so was hyped up. I he thought was he was going to be. Didn't he get on the cover of Madden his first year with the Browns? No. No, that, uh, was, that, uh, was, uh, that was Peyton, Peyton Hillis. Hillis. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but that's where they let the fans vote. And, uh... Oh, no, man. <laughs> Interesting. Who happened to choose a white running back? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's <laughs> that what was... the fan NFL fans went <laughs> yeah. to. Four-year-old Jason Seahorn on the cover. Of the yeah, yeah four-year-old Jason Seahorn. That's, that's who you getting. You getting four-year-old Jason Seahorn, Peyton Hillis, or Kobe? Yeah. Do you guys think that white that white fullback from Arizona is going to the league? I who? just saw them play. Um, they were playing USC the other day, and he was Arizona like, State. It was it Arizona State? Yeah. He, they got like. Well, there's plenty of white <laughs> fullbacks <laughs> in the league. But he was like killing. They were handing him the ball every play, and I was like, I was oh, DJing and watching a, this game in the background. I'm like, oh, he's killing. He's a fullback. He that, looked big enough, but to he's be a actually fullback. toting the rock. You're saying, yeah, no, they're handing him the ball every play, but he's like big and stocky. So it's whatever Arizona fullback. State's doing, nah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> probably not. <laughs> Remember when the Niners drafted that rugby player to play fullback, and everyone got all hyped, and then nothing happened. Uh, no. Yeah, they do that every like once every six years. They'll get like a rugby player. Yeah, Who, it was like yeah. Three, it? like three, four years ago, they used like a seventh round pair. I guess he might have been undrafted, but I want to say they used a late round pair. Where was on he from? A, a legit. He was legit Australian. <laughs> yeah. Not that fake Australian that yeah. he was trying to pedal. Not, not that New Zealand bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> he was real Australian. Our punter's Australian right now. Yeah? Tatted up dude. Yeah. He got a mullet? He does. That's tight. Oi! Yeah. <laughs> he does. And he's older, too. I think he's like 33. <laughs> Everybody's 33. I wish he was a kicker because it's more fun to say that in the accent. Kicker. I wish he was I'm a kicker. 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 Pana. I'm a kicker. Pana. <laughs> Can we do our what players are most fun to say? <laughs> oh, yeah. When's this holdout going to end for Jonathan Taylor? <laughs> Jonathan Taylor. <laughs> this thing we do on Flagrant was all the time. Every, <laughs> I've been waiting to bring it up. <laughs> Every Australian Joe player. Ingles. Joe Ingles. <laughs> Dick Prescott. <laughs> Dick. Dick. Dick Prescott. Dick <laughs> well, Turn Chicago at the end. <laughs> Adelaide to Chicago. <laughs> Uh, and he also he he said that I was talking about Trent Richardson. He didn't know that the uh, he's thirty. Lou Headley, Lou Headley, Lou Headley, Headley, Lou Headley. Uh, he's from Mandura. Bit of footy. This is the Mandura. show now. <laughs> <laughs> this too, is all the show is now. Not too far from Hampty Do. <laughs> <laughs> Still Chicago. <laughs> <laughs> not too far from Hampty Do. That was a little JFK. <laughs> yeah, not too far from Hampty Do. <laughs> but Hassan, yes, and, and my hatred of his football fandom. Yeah. <laughs> He's not affected by his team's losses. Like not he's, he's. Oh, oh, that's obnoxious. Yeah, that yeah, I obnoxious don't like. as hell because it really means you don't actually care. But and he chooses a team that has the most obnoxious fan base, and he's like, yeah, I don't care. Like I the mean, we suck every year, but we won in 1993 when I wasn't a fan and did not know. <laughs> the fun of having was. a Cowboys fan around is to give them shit when the Cowboys 
suck. That's kind of the the promise you make by being yeah. a Cowboys fan is that you have to be a. I mean, I let people you talk to... shit. I don't like. I don't say you can't talk shit. You talk shit. Oh, well, no, I, I know. But Carl was saying, "Well, I talk shit." All three of us flip out. So. <laughs> yeah. Put the table no. <laughs> but he Dual doesn't even talk shit. He'll text. He'll send me. I, I literally told him, "Don't send me no Cowboys content. I don't give a fuck about it. <laughs> don't send me a clip from the Micah Parsons uh, podcast unless it's his mic getting cut off." <laughs> The Micah Parsons podcast. The microphone what Parsons podcast. About? That's what got, Micah is short for. I got three, I got yeah. three yeah. sacks. Microphone. Microphone Parsons. Microphone. 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 Parsons. <laughs> microphone Parsons. Welcome back to Microphone Parsons. I got three sacks last game. That's what he does talk about. This way he was like, I, look, I got Josh Dobbs on my wall. I'm throwing darts at his pitcher. And he carved his ass up. Did you see Dobbs' <laughs> response? Yeah. That was great. Yeah. Dobbs posted a video cutting that into him just dodging all these darts. It was great. Dodge dart. <laughs> dodge dart. Can we dodge get an ad? Kevin, Chef Kevin, can we get a dodge dart ad on the show? <laughs> yeah. This episode of Foosball is brought to you by the, brought to you by the dodge dart. <laughs> Only available use. AMF. AMF radio. Second AMF radio. Uh, <laughs> anti-lock brakes. <Yeah. laughs> Power windows. Power windows. <laughs> by the department store Hills. <laughs> Uh, but yes, he doesn't. He he doesn't get he doesn't get upset when people talk shit. He also talks shit a ton. <laughs> he talks a ton of shit, uh, and he doesn't get upset when people talk. And that's and to be a Cowboys fan and do that is so, like it's like Laker fans or Yankees fans. Yeah, but Cowboys don't have the success that either of those franchises do. <laughs> no, that's very unearned. They yeah. have a they so have I, a couple periods of. Big time success. The seventies and then the early nineties. Yeah. yeah. And it's harder I think it's harder to win a Super Bowl than it is probably well, I know that that's a that's t- me talking out of my ass. You think it's harder to win it uh well in baseball, if you have the highest payroll, you can you're gonna yeah. win, most likely. Yeah, if you've got the money. I don't think it translates. <laughs> Someone who hates the Mets. To that. Yeah. <laughs> I can't wait to tell you how wrong you are. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're not even fucking a winning record. Yeah, that's true. That's but if you're a halfway decent organization like the Dodgers and you have a high payroll, yes. You yeah, can go although we did blow it last season. Yeah. Uh, well, you can't win every year. But. Yeah. I think, yeah, I would say Super Bowl seems the hardest. Because there's a salary cap. It's mm-hmm. that there's more parity and more injuries. Whereas more, more injuries. Yeah. And the sure. NBA also has a salary cap, but in the NBA, three, two guys can change. A fucking yeah. whole season. Whereas in football, you, you need have to like find... forty-five at least guys yeah. who are contributing, and, more, and also that you need to just win the lottery essentially by finding a, a good quarterback, which yeah. there are only a dozen of at any given time. I mean, that's being generous. That's being yeah. generous. <laughs> and as we saw this weekend, football, and this is why I love it. This is why it's my favorite sport to watch. It's got to be the most parity. Yeah, because even in yeah. NBA, like last year, the Denver Nuggets, you it was theirs to lose. Like you knew they were gonna. You knew they were gonna win it. Like there was a there was a couple hiccups where oh man, this team might Boston might sneak in. Yeah, the, the end of the regular there. season they yeah. had like a lax couple weeks. Yeah, but, but that was because people were sitting out, people yeah. were low managing and stuff like that. Like well, and then for ten years it was LeBron and the Warriors and the Warriors. Yeah, but that's even in the height of Brady, there are long periods where they don't win. They had a good little ten year break. Yeah, between their third win and their fourth, right? They lose to the Giants yeah, they... twice during that span. <laughs> Great. It's still Great. funny. It's still yeah, hilarious. It's it is funny. <laughs> and I think with football, too, there's less games you have to win in order to go high, the highest. You know what I'm saying? Like, basketball in a series, you got to win out of seven games. Football, most of it is just one game. You know yeah. what I'm saying? It is a cliche, one... but this was a real fucking any given Sunday, yeah. Sunday yeah, this yeah. week. Yeah. Like, we've covered... The Cowboys' shocking loss. Mm-hmm. We've covered. I, I don't think we've covered it enough. Yeah. <laughs> Nor I still don't think we've talked enough about fucking I'll, seventy to twenty. Well, yeah, let's get to that. But I, I do want to say that I was not totally surprised by the Cowboys' loss. Um, I I had I was like I'm gonna do a little bit of an I told you so where I I could see that this team is a bit fraudulent, uh, and if only because. They've got Mike McCarthy as a head coach. I I did say after week one, I was like, their offense didn't actually do shit. No. They were just handed a 30-point lead and, yeah. and maintained it. Like I think the defense is good. If, like Watching the game, it felt more they got fooled, and mm-hmm. uh, then they, they can tighten all that up. But there's a ceiling on this team that, to me, is one and done in the playoffs. Beautiful. 
Love to see uh, it. Love to hear it. Love to see it. Well, love what? To see it. Love to see it. it. What I heard someone say, and, and I, I'll be honest, I didn't watch as much of this game, but it sounds like because they have such an aggressive defense and pass rush that the Cardinals were just running a million RPOs and mm, being yeah. like, we'll let you essentially call our play for us. We'll <laughs> run at you, Micah Parsons, yeah. and let you just kind of blow past. And, Is that uh, what it, it was? Yeah. yeah. He yeah. overplays for sure. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He over, Trayvon Diggs overplays as well. Uh, he's out. Yeah, he overplayed his hand. He overplayed his hand. Tore his ACL. (laughs) (laughs) And then he got whipped by Des Bryant and Madden. Did you see that? I did not. No. That's crazy. They played, yeah. What team did he use? Do you remember? Saints legend Des Bryant? I don't remember. It was like (laughs) 45-22. But I saw Des post it, and I was like, damn, you clowning on this guy right after he tore his ACL? (laughs) Yeah, you see the the stream of it? The ACL is in your knee, not in your hands. (laughs) (laughs) He's clearly still like like from the anesthetic. (laughs) (laughs) In the hospital, I will say the the Dolphins game gave me a little more justification to run up the score when I play Madden. Because sometimes I'll play Madden and I'll be like, "What am I even doing?" It's like seventy seven to twenty. Like this isn't re- like. And yeah. now I'm like, no, this could happen. <laughs> yeah, no. Yeah, they, sometimes you still have to play the game. If they're choosing not to tackle you, then yeah. you just keep running. Uh, that game was amazing. I, I was. I, it was it, amazing, and then it happened again. It was yeah. like already amazing, like thirty five points in. Yeah, fifty six. I saw fifty six. Like, Man, they fucking hung up fifty six, and then yeah. sixty three. I was like, "Woo, this is wild!" And then seventy got me thinking. I wonder if this is a eighty five Bears, seventy two Dolphins, like all time team. Um, if they can kind of keep it all together, because that collection of speed is so nuts. And I think Mike McDaniel's like a really great coach. They've got enough on defense, but like teams putting up 70 points against another professional football team, even if it is the Denver Broncos, <laughs> uh, is an insane thing. Uh, they, they didn't they have scare Jalen me. Waddle. No, That's they're missing true. their That's second best crazy. skill player. That is crazy. Uh, they they Jeff, Wilson, away. Jeff Wilson was supposed to be their starting running back going in, I feel like. Yeah. So they're essentially out there starting running back. They're out there, number two wide out. They don't. Do they even fucking have a tight end? Durham Smythe. It's like Mike they Gusecki? gave up on. T- no, he's not he's gone. He's on. a yeah. Patriot. Yeah. So like, and they're just fucking throwing seventy on the board. That shit is crazy, man. That is crazy. Tua, like Tua, the concussion king last season. <laughs> if he I want to healthy. Take a, I want yeah. to take a brief victory lap because I think on the first episode I mentioned drafting Moster in a league, and I told people use one of your late picks. To just get any piece of this Dolphins run game, I said the same thing about the Eagles. Someone's got to do it. And but I said, this, I said about Dolphins running backs. I was like, grab a Dolphins running back, grab a Eagles running back, and grab a Chiefs wideout. And other than the Chiefs wideout, if you got give one of those, guys, <laughs> but if give you got time. if you got fucking DeAndre Swift, yeah. you're feeling real good. If you got a yeah. chain and, or guess Mostert. who I cut last week. And so many people, uh, you're not alone. He you're did not. He didn't A-chain? play the first two weeks. Yeah. He didn't play. And I said, I could use him and get rid of him and, and pick up somebody else. When I should have been cutting Najee Harris's ass, oh, yeah. I cut A-Chain and went off for four fucking touchdowns. And I wasn't going to play him, let's be honest. That's the thing. Yeah, no, the people who had him, I was lucky enough. I had a great, I defeated in our league, Steven, who had he of 190 points week one. And then he, so he has Tua and Tyreek, and I still won because yeah. I had most or, and he had the Dallas defense who kind of laid an egg. And I had some other. I had Mike Williams give me one last great game before riding off into the sunset. <laughs> but yeah, I, uh, A-Chan or A-Chain, we're still unsure. A Kane? A Kane? Uh, uh, Chris Berman called him, uh, uh, Devon, that's the sound of the men working on the A-Chain. <laughs> no, he did. Yes, he did. Chain. Chain. <laughs> <laughs> Ah. <laughs> He's toiling. Ah. <laughs> what movie was that when they were doing the ooh? Ah. <laughs> no, no. Ah. Damn, what movie is that? There's some like black period piece. Or something. <laughs> like, ooh. Ah. Ooh. Ah. It's like a Jim Crow musical. No, I think it's. <laughs> Jim Crow I, I swear it's like, let's see. Movie <laughs> singing chain computer 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 cadence cadence the, the this this is the chain gang song march scene from the movie cadence it sounds familiar cadence. is yeah. it like a war movie or something oh yeah 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 uh-huh. <laughs> that's what it is <laughs> 
It says Lawrence Fishburne. Yeah. You ever seen him? Uh-huh. He said, looks he credited familiar. as Larry like Fishburne back then. Uh-huh. Yeah. God, he was so good. That Charlie Sheen? I mean, he's still good. Probably. Yeah. yeah. Didn't Cadence. This was Lawrence. I love that Lawrence Fishburne did like the like baseball, international baseball player thing of lying about his age because <laughs> he had yeah. to say that he was a different age so that he could get into Apocalypse Now. <laughs> yeah. And then yeah, he, he was to, like 17 to, or something, right? Yeah, he had to O.J. Mayo at one point and be like, this is my real age. <laughs> <laughs> or Danny Almonte. <laughs> All right. 70 to 20. Are the are, are they for real? Yeah. Are the Miami Dolphins for real? I think the so. Speed I thing, think they are, man. I don't like it. I don't like it either. Yeah. I think they are. Miami remember, sports they're... fans don't deserve that. No. What's the What's the podcast consensus on the coach, uh, McDaniel? Do we like Do we like him? I, I'm, I getting, do. I'm getting annoyed by him. <laughs> really? I'm just a little, a little too cute. Down on a little too lines, cute. Yeah. A little too like man. <laughs> and athleticism <laughs> lines. <laughs> <laughs> Me and Ryan, up, those like white guys who can't play sports. I think he's amazing. <laughs> I actually really like Mike yeah. Daniel. He's really smart. <laughs> they were who were they comparing him to? It, it was oh, it was it was you know what it was. I got a little sensitive when they beat the Chargers the first week, mm. and that was a that was just like annoying. Yeah. In retrospect, losing a close game to the Dolphins doesn't seem so bad right now. No. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's right. like the Steelers after week one seems so bad, but now we're two and one and the only loss was to San Fran, who seems unstoppable. So mm. Yeah. It doesn't seem as bad two weeks later as it did is that at the, the time. Is that the Super Bowl this year? Dolphins in 49ers? Is that or the uh, Eagles? I still I think it's the Eagles. I, I think, still love the Eagles. I, I love see Jay flaws. I, I see the flaws Eagles, in so. the 49ers. Oh. I see uh, the NFC teams, I think the Eagles still look the, the, the best to me. I don't see it with Brock Purdy. No. Nah. I know he's fucking 30 and 0 or whatever. I don't. Do you guys? No. No. Brock Purdy? I think he's going to fail. No, I think he's a little wimp. <laughs> <laughs> I think he is irrelevant. <laughs> and I think Christian McCaffrey's going to go down eventually. You think he's going to get hurt? <laughs> well, if I have anything to say about That's what I was going to say about the <laughs> Dolphins is that. I mean, remember, even if Tua, and obviously I don't want Tua to get hurt, but like that's the concern, right? Oh, if Tua's got to stay healthy. But their backup is Mike White. It was good last who year. Who balled out last year. Oh, I'm sure as the Jets wish they still had him. Yeah, the you Jets know? really wish they still yeah. had him. I saw a hot take that pissed me off this week. Wow, this show is getting uh, racially <laughs> emotionally <laughs> charged. Uh, somebody said, uh, I'm the one who said Jim Crow music. Yeah. <laughs> you can say whatever you want. 1990 <laughs> movie. Uh, Jared Goff is better than Lamar Jackson. That's okay. That's a what? silly. <laughs> At what? Yeah, what did they say football? Yeah, yeah, yeah they, they shuffleboard. Yeah. <laughs> I would take Lamar. <laughs> In a sight unseen blind shuffleboard yeah. draft. Give me Lamar. He makes crispier fries. <laughs> Put it back in the air fryer. Yeah, the key to it is <laughs> Lamar, your fries are soft. That is, that's a silly, silly. It's thing. a weird comparison. Yeah, look, it's, it's just hate. It's just hate. Yeah, yeah, there are yeah. situations where in fantasy football I might start Goff, but his whole career Goff has had offenses that are airing it out, mm-hmm. insane weapons. Especially since he's been on the Lions, they've been trailing a lot. So, yeah, Goff's yeah. going to ha- probably have more passing yards on the season than Lamar. But Lamar just got, like, his first wideout in, like, five years. Yeah. yeah. His first real wideout who doesn't get season-ending injury week one. And also, I'm going to check my notes here. I don't recall Jared Goff ever winning an NFL MVP and yeah, having he... one of the greatest seasons of quarterback. <laughs> yeah, he's had him yeah. MVP. That's yeah. interesting. Oh, wow. Stupid okay. take. Heisman. Yeah. <laughs> He didn't win Heisman, did he? Goff? No. 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 Because Cal's never competitive. No. 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 Are they moving? What what, fra- what uh, conference are they moving to? I about to say what fragrance are they moving to? <laughs> what fragrance what are they moving fragrance? in? UCLA yeah. and USC the are going, yeah. are oh, going to the Big Ten, Ooh, but I don't know where Cal's going. Who? I can't keep track of what's Cal just got beat up on by, um, who did they just, Washington, I think? Washington State? Yeah. They Boy, Coach up. Prime finally took an L this week. That was crazy. Oh, yeah. We got to talk, talk about, about that Coach too. Prime. Speaking yes. of racism. Yeah. People were people crazy. Were so, too excited. <laughs> people on Twitter. Yeah, people excited. on Twitter. I'm not going to say your names. Kevin Bartell. <laughs> <laughs> Twitter. Talking about some. Oregon did this for People us. on Twitter. Yeah, the I think that was Brian. Kevin. <laughs> we're finally going to give credit for one of the tweets we bring up. And that was Kevin. Kevin. Yeah. Said, Oregon is taking a stand, for, taking all a stand for all of us. <laughs> that was my fake. That was my fake account. <laughs> His burner. Uh, man, that shit is insane. Like, to hate that man so much. You know, if you notice. <laughs> Deion Sanders don't talk shit about nobody. No, no. Deion, he just hypes he himself, himself up. up. Yeah, he, just, he hypes he, himself up, but he also I do feel like does 
so many things the way that old school white racist fans love. Yeah. Like mm-hmm. where he was like, let's forgive this linebacker who hit Travis Hunter. He's just a young man. Like he's yeah. a good player and everything. Like shit like, and I got no hate for the Colorado State coach who said that dumb shit about him. Yeah. Like he's doing stuff, a lot of the stuff the way it's just like. Anyone else skin. is doing it, they go, now that's the right way to <laughs> exactly. do it. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Goalpost moving <laughs> right. like yeah. crazy. It's yeah. like how people always are praising on- online. This this bothers me when I see comment sections where somebody goes, "Man, that dude is so humble." It's like, uh, who? Why do you care? <laughs> I don't give a shit if somebody else is humble. That don't bother me at all. Uh, like the wholesome compliment. The wholesome yeah, the whole, comment. the whole. Yeah, it's like shut up, bro. But it's like well spoken, right? Yeah, yeah. 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 Articulate. So humble. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Articulate. So articulate. <laughs> articulate is the what's the biggest dog whistle word in sport? <laughs> yeah. Articulate that dude just that. playing football. That's what happened. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I, I ain't got playing no, the he, right he, way. I don't even yeah, have no, no death oh, threats. Yeah. When he was talking about the homeboy from Colorado State, and, yeah. and that was such a nasty hit. It was, and man. it was unsportsmanlike. It was extremely yeah. unsportsmanlike, and it was the dude lacerated his liver. And this Who? guy, Crazy. like Travis, Travis Hunter, is hopefully knock on wood, slated to be an amazing NFL player. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and this at, dude at either is position. not going to the fucking league. Man. Yeah, the guy yeah, that was, a, yeah, that was guy just a him, straight yeah. up hater play. Yeah, yeah, shit was weak as hell. And also to the people who are so excited about Colorado losing to Oregon, <laughs> nobody was saying that they were going to win that game. Yeah. yeah, they were still dogs. I would have, I would have covered. I would have said they would cover the spread. I would have wanted them to cover. Hey, yeah, has yeah. Chris Russo also, gone back on TV since that interview where he said he was going to take a gummy and put ten grand on oh, Colorado? Yeah. That, was that was great. That was the first time I ever liked Chris. I'm Russo. glad they lost. Now I'm going to take a gummy. I'm going to cut it in half. Yeah. Take the first half. Yeah, was, if you haven't seen like this, an edible, like a weed gummy. Yeah, he's like, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be wearing shorts. Yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna uh, take the first half. Three hours later, I'm gonna take the second half. I'm call my bookie, tell him to put ten dimes on Colorado. Yeah, <laughs> ten dimes, ten thousand dollars on Colorado. Damn, to co- at least to cover the spread, I would have, I would have bet that. I may have made a little. bit. I was hoping, yeah, we'd get a little bit of a, a better showing, but yeah, you know, hey, and this week ain't gonna be no easier playing against Caleb the Goat no, Williams. No. Uh, I think yeah. that game's gonna be a bloodbath. <laughs> I don't oh, know if it's no. gonna be a bloodbath because I think they're gonna learn a lot from this week. Yeah. But their lines, the 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 O line and D line of Colorado is is small. But they're under man. Yeah. I and got them to going. be expected. Those are the units that need like cohesion. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And when you have so much insane roster turnover, it makes a little more sense that like your blocking is taking a little more time. Yeah. To catch up to the talent level that you that have. you have. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I hope that. Like that game and all that hullabaloo and that other coach talking about the clicks and everything. I hope that's got the six foot six, three hundred and fifty pound, five star tackle out of Florida being like, "I'm going to Colorado." Yeah, yeah. Like, you know, <laughs> it definitely like, is. Because yeah. I definitely I felt that in my mind. I was like, man, if I was a five star right now, if I knew that I had the talent to help this team, I'm yeah. like, I'm going there. Why not? Yeah. Why not be on national TV every week? Why not get? I You'll saw, be in the spot. The whole fucking sure. Sanders families in all these. these they got a <laughs> the KFC, KFC commercial. Not you get wings on your daddy's family. white yeah. carpet yeah. or whatever. Yeah. yeah, like you're gonna get the most the NIL, NIL money. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like it, that, I would absolutely go there if I was if I was able to help that school. Uh, Imagine how much NIL the Ball brothers would have got if they had that dude. then. Because <laughs> the top two NIL people are like Bronny and. Manning and Sanders and Man- yeah, yeah and I bet Manning. So it's like all famous sons. Is he? Why is he not playing? Is he Quinn not playing right now? Ewers. Yeah, the, Ewers is starting over there. Yeah, and he's a Heisman candidate. That's why. Yeah, so Arch not good. Arch should transfer to Colorado. <laughs> so, oh my god, that <laughs> like, would blow what? some people's <laughs> fucking minds up. So, so because uh, so that way uh, Shador could go to uh, go to the NFL next. Yeah, season. yeah. <laughs> they got Arch Manning. <laughs> is Shador that eligible? Way. I think uh, so. He should be because he's he played two years, played at, two years at, at Jackson, Jackson State. State. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. and then this is his third year, so he I think should. they were you saying think... that he was maybe going to stick around. I was going to say, you think he's ready for the league? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. At quarterback? Yeah, I think every quarterback in that, like, not every quarterback, but the top four quarterbacks in the country right now, all in the Pac-12. Uh-huh. The back half of the Colorado Drake State man. game, Shadour was carving him up. Mm. Yeah, and he was just doing it. Brian and I he were talking about this off mic last week. Reads. Just yeah. sitting back and picking them apart in yeah, the pocket. Works at, yeah, I he, think he's better than Justin Fields. I think oh, he's better. Yeah. Than, oh yeah. Oh, yeah, I think he's better than than Anthony Richardson right now. I think Anthony Richardson is going to pan out. I love Anthony Richardson. I think he has such a high ceiling, but it's gonna. It might be a struggle at first. Yeah. I'm. Can we talk about CJ Stroud for a second? Coming out of the gate strong. He's most, good. Most passes to start your career without a pick. Yeah. And I I don't know if it's this league, but I threw him on my bench. 
And this is something I recommend doing in fantasy if you play on Yahoo. Just want a quick advice here. If one of your guys gets ruled out for the week Sunday morning, you can throw him in the IR slot and just stash somebody for the week. You can just that. grab him you for the game. The and then, you know, then you decide who you want to keep the next week. And I threw CJ Stroud in, and I'm like, I think I'm going to hang on to this dude. Yeah, I've, I've, I've got threw- some waiver claims for him in uh, yeah. other leagues. Or you use it to, to like, just grab, like, a backup running back. Yeah. And maybe something happens, and now who you got to, like, or, or yeah. grab a defense who has a good matchup next week. That's my advice. Here's what I'm worried about. Speaking of fantasy football moves. So I am a victim. <laughs> of, Every week you say this. <laughs> <at some point. laughs> I am a victim. <laughs> Picture this. <laughs> picture this. Picture this. Me. I'm a victim. It's victim week. We'll see you next, next week. week. <laughs> <laughs> Joel Burrow is screwing me over right now mm. because he's hurt and he rushed back too quick. Yeah. Now last night he didn't play. He only had nine points. Luckily Jamar Chase got twenty out of it. I think. Yeah. But Joe, like Joe, threw a pick. He didn't throw a touchdown, so he only had nine points. But he could have had like seventeen, I guess. Like or through, sixteen through two weeks. Other than people who got injured, Chase was probably the pick that people felt worst about for yeah. two weeks. Oh, yeah. I did. I picked him first. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I, I have him uh, in a couple of leagues as my my top guy, and it, it's it been sucking. It, up until last night, up until the second half of last night, but the first half, too, it was like oh, fucking more of this on, shit. Man. Yeah. Oh, just mm-hmm. please. So if you have Joe Burrow, I think there are some, some players out there that you should be eyeing. If you can get C.J. Stroud. Get him in there. Because he might Bortles his way to <laughs> a really good fantasy yeah. season. Like, yeah. Well, and, that's not even fair, actually, because Bortles threw a bunch of picks. That's not even a fair comp- I just mean being on a bad team in that division. I think he'll be just another one of those, hey, man, that rookie is putting up great numbers. Uh, mm-hmm. for He's going to have like 4,000 yards and 20-something touchdowns and a, not a lot of picks. Like, kinda, like Cam Newton was a great um, – mm-hmm. Fantasy quarterback, his oh, rookie his year. Week one, he threw for 400 for, yards. I still first rem- two weeks. I remember yeah. feeling so fucking dumb that I hadn't drafted him. Like, <laughs> what's well, not like he's going to throw 400 yards the first two weeks. That was pretty weeks. unheard of for a rookie it quarterback to really come out of the gate like that. Um, also, I think we're just shitting on him, and I don't think he's very good, but Brock Purdy is available in a lot of leagues. Brock and Purdy is available a, in a lot of leagues. He's not, he'll be fine during the regular season. It's in the playoffs is when the the NFL playoffs is when he'll fall apart. So you can get him now. Yeah, yeah. Jared Goff is also available in a lot of leagues. Surprisingly, Kirk Cousins is like one of the top fantasy QB. Aren't the if you draft he, if you pick yeah. up Jared Goff though, that means you're making a statement. Yeah, you're saying that he's better than Lamar Jackson. Yeah, Kirk Cousins is sitting on the bench in one of my uh, one of my teams, and I'm mad every week. Oh yeah, because he's putting up thirty every. Who's week your starting I, QB? In uh, Lamar Jackson is who I've been. All playing. right, well, so he's doing all right. So he's, he's doing not. all right, but still like. Kirk Cousins. Is, <laughs> He's but, not. This week, Lamar had a he good did. Week. He did better. Yeah, sorry. He did better. They lost. We can talk to, talk about some wins and losses too. Uh, Sam Howell tossed for four picks last week. <laughs> At the beginning of this game, Ryan and I text each other. Sam Howell's good. You remember? Sam Howell. Oh yeah, because he did look pretty good the first two weeks, and then he goes and proceeds to have like the worst fucking game. Yeah, we said it during the game. <laughs> yeah, like early on. Yeah, but, yeah. Early and then game, neither like, of us mentioned Sam it Howell, the rest. Yeah, of the day. Sam Howell's. And that was pretty good. <laughs> that was pretty good. And then it was just like the most embarrassing interception Ooh. after another. <laughs> if you look at some of his TDs from the first couple of weeks, they were filthy. Yeah. But, he's a young guy. Yeah. He'll figure it out. Buffalo really was not good to him. <laughs> no. Carl, uh, let's talk about the Saints real quick because I advised people to bet the Saints yeah. over for wins this year. It was one of, I thought, the best bets because of their week schedule and them being decent. Half the time of this game, I'm like, I hope people made that bet because yeah. <laughs> they're about to be three and oh. Dude. And then Carr goes down. Yeah. And they say it's not going to be a season ending thing. It's going to be a couple no, it's weeks. It's just a sprain. We, we dodged a bullet with that. It's but just you, a sprain of his uh, AC. And I think Winston's shit. one of the better backups in yeah. the league. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But you can win with James Winston. You can, you can win, and he will win some games. But what happened? Uh, <sighs> the defense just kind like Jordan Love just kind of carved us up. That dual threat got to us, and, and they're. Their receivers were catching balls. I Dobbs I, have another big game, right? Dobbs. I saw yeah. Dobbs. Yeah. yeah, I saw a little bit of it. What's the? If you had to point a finger at like what part of the defense isn't working, what, is it the secondary? Is it the, I, the I pass think, rush? Well, our, our pa- pass rush is, is is new. We got some new guys on the pass rush, yeah. like the Breezy kid and stuff like that. And I think, uh, um, 
That like reminded him. me that I I was also saying I love that commercial for Little Caesars with Cam Jordan. <laughs> yeah, Cam Jordan's great. Cam Jordan, Ryan cool, Fitzpatrick, dude. and George Kittle is just yeah. the funniest <laughs> yeah. mix of guys. I was like, I actually love this. It makes me smile. Cam Jordan is dope. As I hell. love He's Cam. Our linebacker dope as hell. Demario Davis dope as hell. It might just be our secondary. That's that's just. They just got beat. I think they just. I think Jordan Love just managed a good game. I think Jordan Love, if he's available in leagues, you should probably take a take. A I got. I got Jordan. Is, I is took he a getting, on, Is he on, doing on anything with his legs, fantasy wise? Like is he running the ball? He, at ran, all? he ran a lot on us. Did he? Uh, I didn't see that. Either. I also like. I don't know. I don't know. We missed a kick. Like, we, were, we were still supposed to win mm-hmm. that game. We missed. We lost right. on a missed kick. Oh yeah! Mm-hmm. After they had taken the lead, well, yeah. they did. The the Packers kind of did a weird analytical thing where they went for two. They went for two when they, they when they didn't need to. They could have just took the points and 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 it was it was an analytical move and it worked. That worked. And Brandon yeah. Staley is like, God fucking yeah, damn it! When I, I do that, when I do it, it's cool when they do it. It's yeah, a problem when I do it. <laughs> it was there was some between the Raiders and Chargers. There was um, some that, wild coaching decisions as this a, week. As a Chiefs fan who hates the Raiders and Broncos, Sunday was fucking bliss. Yeah. Like <laughs> it almost if the Chargers hadn't been let off the hook at the end of that game, you would have had oh. a dominant Chiefs win and three epic failures by every other team. Oh, have we talked awesome. about the the Vikings on here being slated Shit. to be the best team in the NFL that's probably not going to win a game? Yeah. <laughs> like well all four of the 0 and 3 teams play each other next week. The what? Broncos play the Bears and the Vikings play the uh other 0 and 3 teams. Why, why have the Vikings fallen so far? Cuz they were really They had a good. tough schedule. They yeah. got a tough schedule. They they I mean it's a tough schedule to start off with with them, but it's just some you want to talk about something not clicking. Their run game. <laughs> See, yeah, the, the run defense, game defense the secondary is yeah, really bad. The secondary is bad yeah. over there. Uh I think they will. They're going to get some wins, but Herbert so, was something. They play crazy. Carolina. Herbert was something crazy, like forty of forty-five or something in that yeah. game. It yeah. was nuts. Truly, because there were so many other crazy performances going on, his and Keenan Allen's really flew under the radar. Yeah, and they still only won by four, which is wild to me. Like <laughs> that's bad. I'm, I'm not a fan of Brandon Staley. No, nah, man, he's not like, good. So that, Staley's was that. Up by four with a few minutes left, he went for it on fourth and one on his own, like, 23, yeah. which yeah. is crazy. And I like the ballsy analytical moves, to be honest with you, but, but that was gotta be, crazy. But there's got to be a feel for the game. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like You can follow the the the, the, the book or whatever as, as much as you want, but sometimes it's like, oh, this just doesn't feel right. And you can we all see it as it's happening. They lined up for that play, and it's like, this is a, feels like a really dumb idea. The, and the same thing, I mean, I don't know what analytics book the Josh McDaniels decision is in, but also just... That's like the opposite to me. You know, truly, I mean, that too one, much feel for that the one's, game. That like, one's, we're going to get a stop. That one's bad feel for the game and not listening to analytics. Because yeah. so. <laughs> they had gotten two three and outs in a row. So if you don't know, McDaniels was like, they needed eight points. There were two and a half minutes left. They had all their timeouts and the two minute warning and they had fourth and five at like the 10 yard line and he kicked the field goal. Yeah. <laughs> and then kicked off banking on using the timeouts, getting the ball back. And like, what it, would have been worse field position also still needing a touchdown. It's, it's, it was a really baffling, hilarious. So here's move. what I did. I was watching the game. I was watching the Saints game a little bit. Let me, let me give you a, a personal picture of this. The other one sounded personal, but it wasn't. It's happened to me before, kind of. <laughs> but so uh, saucy. <laughs> Koi, Koi using, Carl. Using, girl. That, using that girl's oatmeal. <laughs> <laughs> uh, eating, uh, eating rotten mess spoiled milk. Yeah, I was gonna say, the, the plump, the plump pup plump felt very lifter. <laughs> That's well, it. That definitely happened. What did she bring the oat milk for? Because she didn't. She don't like regular milk. But she knew she wanted to have cereal the next morning. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. <laughs> she also got it. Like she was very serious about me and my health. Should have married her. Uh, <laughs> How long you've been with her? Taylor. Uh, <laughs> Is it Taylor Swift? It's Taylor, Taylor Swift. Swift. Yeah. They cut to her celebrating every time you do something funny on stage. Yeah. <laughs> in a, in a Let's fucking go! I'm yeah. playing in an arena. And hear her like yeah. mouthing out the punchline that Carl just said. <laughs> I didn't know there was an owner's box at UCB. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sitting next to Besser. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no, I, I, so I woke up. All right. So let me give you the night before. <laughs> picture this. So pic- picture let me this. Back up. Let me back up. Picture this. You got a seven o'clock improv show <laughs> and then you go and have, uh, three margaritas with Mike Mitchell <laughs> in between. You got a seven o'clock and a 10 30. Right. Oh, the show. We did. Yes, we did the show. So we I had to plug that on the show <laughs> last week. We fucked up. I had a couple margaritas, uh, in between those two shows and then. 
we did that show and then we went to birds after and hung out for a while and my drink of choice right now i'm, I'm in a real tito's pineapple uh situation right now mm-hmm. a little uh tito's pineapple situation Just and tito's so, vodka and pineapple juice yeah or is it like pineapple infused tito's no pineapple juice pineapple juice tito's uh, chef kev let's get us an ad <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. pineapple juice dole yeah, 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 yeah. Dole, dole, hit us up. Dole, we gotta start promoting dole, dole out here man. so for ah, dinner dole. that day i had ordered wing stop before the seven o'clock show i had got some wing stop delivered they got some new flavors this lemon herb Oh, Kevin, get us I've a come wing stop. Around on wing stop. I used to be a detractor, and I've come around. Really? And I get it what all was the time, alternative? Man. What did you like instead? I grew up near Buffalo Wild Wings. Was oh, a big dude, BW you too. are that is wilding. Trash. Yeah, I know. I'm changing my opinion. <laughs> nah, man, you still gonna get shamed? I, That's crazy. I Buffalo was Wild Wings ain't never been to the taste. I won free wings for a year once at Buffalo Wild Wings I mean, when I was in college. Sense. I, I made up, yeah. okay. I made wings on Sunday. Ooh. Smoked them. Fucking great. Yeah. Sorry, just wanted to <laughs> pat myself on the back real fast. Um, we got to have a barbecue at your house. I yeah. Brian um, knows how to cook for game day. I'll say that. We got to, I'll bring over some Rotel dip. I'll make, I'll put some Rotel Oh man, I love Rotel. Yeah. I'll bring the oat milk. Was Kevin heart. the woman that you were in? <laughs> <laughs> Kevin just told on himself. Yeah. So, uh, Wait, so you were sleeping with the woman who said they're taking a stand for all of us? <laughs> <laughs> I'm connecting the dots here. Listen, man, she likes me. Uh, <laughs> I don't care what she say about the rest of them. They like me. <laughs> Jason but, yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> the rest so, of them. Yeah, the rest of them. <laughs> I don't care what she say about the rest of them. No, uh, I, <laughs> the rest of them. So we we uh I, I I got I had wings stop and I ate like five of them and, and like a few of the fries. Anyway, I get home and you know it's that late night. You got them hunger pangs, <laughs> and so I'm like, oh, I got that wing stop. So this is like it's good two, cold. It is. I don't yeah, even reheat oh, it. I did. Yeah, I ate I ate it cold, and that was my first mistake. <laughs> uh, apparently, the doctor told me the next day, but I <laughs> I ate I. Uh, I ate the rest of the wings, like five wings, and immediately just went and plopped in the bed and knocked out. Yeah. This is okay. like 2.30 in the morning. Yeah. 4.45, oh, no. my stomach says, wake up. <laughs> oh, my God. Ah, get up. Yeah. <laughs> and get down. Get up out of your seat. Get up. <laughs> get down. My stomach is just killing me. Now, this is not diarrhea. This is not vomiting stomach. This is like the, your stomach. Deep, deep. Yes, yeah. it is. You're bad. like Googling. Appendix, where is it? Yeah, yeah. I'm like, oh, okay, what's happening? It's the, it's the top right of Computer, the abdomen. Appendix, where ah. is it? <laughs> it's happened to me before. It's excess acid. No, oh. like GERD, reflux, bad, bad, yeah. bad, bad acid reflux. And I laid down immediately, and it just that acid just oh, sat because there. you laid down because yeah. I laid down and it just sat there. So it woke me up immediately, giving me crazy cramps. Yeah. So I've done this before. I've been through this. I go into my little medicine cabinet take out the pepto drink it straight from the bottle i don't have anybody else drinking my pepto and so <laughs> that doesn't help about 45 minutes after that and, and i'm like really tired because i'm yeah. on like two hours of sleep yeah, yeah, yeah. max probably not even probably didn't even reach rem <laughs> and so i'm like all right let me pop a pepsi pepsi ac says you're only supposed to take one so i take that one usually that is knocked it out like and I'm like, please, like let me throw up or something, like yeah, something. Get this happened. out of me. Get it, get it out of me. Just like and it's just hurting. I can't go to sleep. Now it's the time is ticking. Five forty five, six forty five, seven forty five. I ain't been able to get back to sleep. Yeah. Eight forty five. I check what time the urgent care opens. I'm like, right, let me go to urgent care because I don't know what's happening. Like I'm like, why is this? The Pepsi didn't work. The the Pepto didn't work. Let me. I gotta go to the hospital. Like I gotta go oh, to the doctor. Fuck. So I go to urgent care, and. They take. They did not care for me urgently. Let's just say that. <laughs> no. Took, on a Sunday morning, uh, at, I've had the worst fucking urgent at care. nine a.m. <laughs> a Sunday morning at nine a.m. I get there like nine twenty-five, uh, and I get in. I sign in. It takes like thirty minutes to sign in. So it's like ten o'clock. I wait in that. They're all room. eating wings. They're wing all stop. eating wing stop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Watching the game. It's cold. Yeah. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you, man? I'm watching the, watching the game. And so I'm waiting in the room. I turn it on uh, YouTube TV. I'm watching the game a little bit, and we're we're scoring. Yeah, and as I'm waiting, my stomach starts to feel better. <laughs> like, and I'm like, oh shit! Like it, it's it, I'm it it's finally passing. Like yeah. what the the cramp is finally passing. I'm sitting there. I get up, try to move around a little bit, see if it's gonna like retrig. I'm like, oh, I think I'm good. I think it might be me sitting up for this long, like, kind of letting it. And then the doctor comes in, and he's like, uh. 
so what happened? I tell him, I was like, I'm actually starting to feel better now. I'm fine now. But this is what happened. And usually I take a Pepsi and it goes away. He's like, how many did you take? And I go, one. The box says take one. He goes, oh, that's for it. That's so that you don't sue him. Like, <laughs> you can take more than one. <laughs> okay. Then I, I should probably do the amount that makes me so that I don't sue somebody. Yeah, yeah, I don't yeah. want to end up in a lawsuit. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I, I don't want to I don't want to need to sue. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I guess we could take more. You could take more than one Pepsi because it's only like 10 milligrams or something. So you could take yeah. like 40 milligrams of it. And I probably would have helped more than But he was, he prescribed me some stuff and, and like some stuff that calmed my acid down, bring the acid way down and, and stuff like that. But he was also like, he was like, what what was your night like? Did you drink last night? I was like, maybe had one or two. <laughs> <laughs> you look like a Tito's and pineapple. Yeah. Man. <laughs> How you know? You can see it. You can see my island vibes. <laughs> and so. Uh, <laughs> you look like a Tito's pineapple yeah. kind of guy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you like your vodka gluten free, don't you? <laughs> and so I was like, and then he was like, did you eat something late last night? I was like, yeah. Mm. yeah. I had a wing or two for wing stop. He was like, you eat it cold? I was like, yeah. He was like, yeah, man, you can't just lay down and do that. And he was also like, you're a big dude. He was like, you work out? And I was like, yes, I do, Doc. How you know? Like, yeah. <laughs> gave me a compliment. He was like, yeah, man, you like you got a lot of muscle around like that stomach, so it doesn't, like, you have, he was like, were you bloated as hell? I was like, man, I look like I was pregnant. And I was also mad. I was like, bro, I thought I, like, I thought I had been slimming down a little yeah. bit. Like, what the fuck is this? I, I look like my dad. Like, <laughs> when, when my dad's getting up to go to work in the morning, and he comes into the the guest room to w- <laughs> that wakes me up. Like, when I'm staying at my dad's house, he comes to the guest room, and he, like, got a huge stomach. <laughs> and I'm like, I look like my dad right now. I'm going like, to go to work. <laughs> yeah, and I'm like, I get it, Dad. I'm 30. Yeah. Like, you don't need to tell me. Don't wake me up. And tell me that. Yeah. Uh, I understand how it all works. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Go, go, just go right of oat milk. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right oat milk. Just in case you need some oat yeah. milk. And so, <laughs> I'd just like you need it. get home. We're out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Go. <laughs> I gotta be somewhere. At, I gotta be somewhere at 4:30. And so I get home, and it's like at this point, it's like 11:45 in the morning. Game's still on, but it's getting it's getting to that point. And uh, we're up 17-3, I think, at this point. And then I, I, I'm like, okay, I, should I stay up and watch this game? Or, like, I need to, I need to go to sleep. So I'm, yeah. I'm like, I like climb back in bed and turn it on. And I, I bought Sunday ticket, by the way. And they do that. They score. And then they do that two-point <laughs> conversion. And I go, I'm done. Yeah. I'm going to <laughs> and I wake up to text being like, damn. Damn, man. Well, I, almost, uh, yeah. I'm like, oh, I knew it. And then it saw that we lost, we missed, like, missed a field goal. Is what, like, oh, yeah. That's just a heartbreaker, man. That sucks. I mean, at least that's you sad. made the right call. Yeah, yeah. I didn't, I didn't want to see it. So uh, I watched some highlights from it and then watched the Red Zone. They kept playing over and over again. Uh, Red Zone's best channel I ever created. It's awesome. Uh, have you played with the uh, multi view yeah. on the YouTube? Yeah. I, I think I'm going to play with that a little bit more. Usually I like uh, Red Zone, but. Seems kind of fun. Kind of buying it on own. buying it on YouTube TV, you get it on the YouTube app and on yep. the YouTube TV app. So yep. it's pretty sick. That's what I got, yeah. Uh, but yeah, man. Y'all got some predictions for this week? Well, Carl, you and I are squaring off in the first host versus host matchup of All the right. season. There's got to be some trash talk going on. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan, don't <laughs> sow the seeds. <laughs> yeah. You got to be saying, hey, this buddy. <laughs> hey, pal. <laughs> I'm gonna have your number this week. Comedians Ooh. destroy Eckler. Oh, that's that's funny. I beat the shit out of Woodbridge Wombats. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, I lost to Hayes. Ryan, where are you oh. in the standings now? Are you? I'm one and two. You are you Cole Komet? Is that the, you? Yeah, the, the Kometropol- Kometropolitan Museum. That's pretty good. <laughs> you know, what? I meant to say this. The Listeners, send us your what is foosballs podcast mm-hmm. at gmail dot com pod. Foosballspod at gmail.com. Send yeah. us your player pun team names because I'm a big fan of all these. Yeah. Ryan had one in another league that I thought was so funny this week, which is you have Jameer Gibbs, and what'd you go with? Uh, they call me Mr. Gibbs. Yeah. <laughs> An amazing <laughs> reference. Uh, I picked Cameron Dicker in, in our sex sex sofa. Oh, we, yeah, yeah. Our group, we got a group chat yeah. uh, league, and I picked Cameron Dicker, so I, that team name is Dicker Licker. <laughs> Very fun. And, uh, <laughs> And then in this league, my team is no glove, no Jordan Love. Who beat me this week? Jordan Love beat the Saints. But I got I – I do I didn't like our t- listener Stevens, my little Tony for Kadarius yeah, that's, Tony. Yeah, that's pretty good, right. too. I didn't, get, uh, I, I didn't get to talk about my team because I was gone the week. Oh, week. yeah. So Yeah, how, let's give a quick update on yeah. no glove, no Jordan Love. So my quarterback is Trevor Lawrence. 
I got up and been, down. I've got I've got, I've got Trevor Lawrence in a, a league also, and it's it's pretty frustrating. Yeah. You know what's what's interesting about the the Jags? I thought they were going to run away with that AFC South, and now there's a competition in it. And I'll say this: I'm also going to pat myself on the back that my Demeco Ryan's uh, Coach of the Year pick not looking too shabby. Not looking too, not looking too, not looking too I, I want him to get it. I yeah, want, I love I want Demico Houston Ryan. to do something. Boy, uh, you must. I'm looking at your team now, Carl. You're wideouts went nuts last night they did you have aj brown who went who had a good game and yeah. Devontae, Devontae adams, adams. Who absolutely mm-hmm. the steelers couldn't do a fucking yeah. thing to stop yeah him. i got the a, only one that crazy. could stop him was you, oh, josh mcdaniels yeah <laughs> and you also have amari cooper who's balling out so far. he's doing yeah. great you've amari got a Cooper's... great group of wideouts god damn give that guy a quarterback mm-hmm. he can make things happen yeah what the hell did y'all see uh did y'all see him get sacked and then throw the ball backwards? Yeah. Like, why'd you do that? <laughs> even in a week when even in a week when Deshaun has a really good his easily his best game as a Brown. They were their game was never in doubt, but all you see online is that play. Yeah. I'm like, he's at it again. I mean, it's maybe the worst play I've ever seen by a quarterback. Yeah. It's just pretty, take the sack. Bro. Pretty nuts. Just take it. I, and it uh, and it could have been much worse. It could have been worse. Like oh, yeah. if Elijah Moore doesn't get on the ball, it goes down as Maybe the worst ever. Yeah, yeah. If that's a, if that's a, a scoop and score pick six for the defense, Ooh. it's like the worst decision it, of all it's time. The, yeah, it's it's running in the wrong direction. <laughs> he threw it it's, ten yards behind. Them. I would say it's Yaro <laughs> Supremian esque. Yes, what a what a pull. <laughs> I got uh, James Cook, uh, who did okay. Kareem Hunt, I had to start him this week uh, because Aaron Jones is down. I know in another league I had Chubb and my only backup was Kamara, so mm. I had to start Tony Jones Jr., who you've also got stashed on I your I do roster. have stashed, but I probably should have kept A-Chain in that. This is where I had A-Chain. But uh, uh, Juju Smith-Schuster hasn't panned out yet. This dude, Dante Foreman, I'm, holding, to go. I'm holding on him. I'm holding on to him but because I think he's going to get picked up by another team. Right? Yeah, he's a healthy scratch right now. Yeah. Um. Yeah, you, you wish you could. Wish there were practice squads. I know <laughs> on yeah. fantasy football. So my JP Ryan has been giving me some solid numbers. Yeah, he didn't do it this week. We were talking about this last week. Do you? How closely do you follow projections? Uh, I do follow them. And I follow I, and them I, too, and yeah. I and I shouldn't. Honestly, I do too. And they they put in they plant enough like seeds of doubt in my head where I'll, I'll say no, I can't I can't start them. I like to. Throw it out to the ether sometimes. Yeah, I, I only like I said, I only will buck the projections if it's really close. But if it's like a point or two, I don't have the guts. <laughs> yeah. Let me see here. Let me see here. So our match. So they got you winning by by five points. You got Jalen Hurt, Christian Kirk, Drake London, Jameer Gibbs, Raheem Mostert. Well, but Dalton but King right King. now I have twenty nineteen projected points from Eckler, who's not. Guaranteed to be back. So yeah. Mm-hmm. Then who do you put in there? Michael Who's Thomas. Uh, yeah, probably Michael Thomas or or, or Ayuk, Ayuk if he's healthy. Um, Tank Dell. What about Tank Dell? Boy, yeah, go grab him, y'all. He I went mean, off. Yeah, I, yeah. That was I honestly got a, I got he's a waiver claim for him. He, I think, would have been the guy. And the Pittsburgh defense, those are the guys that I grabbed to just throw on my roster when I put my hurt guys in the IR. And now, Tank Dell, I'm going to keep his ass, man. He was great. Yeah. So, Trevor Lawrence is playing against Atlanta. No, that was last week. No, that's this week. Yeah, They're they, playing against Atlanta this week. That should be a, Wait, is that last week? No, no, because Trevor Lawrence just played Houston. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Trevor Lawrence is playing against Atlanta this week. But Kenny Pickett is playing against Houston. So I wouldn't throw Pickett out as a Steeler. That's player. a little. I'm kind of finding Pickett ain't the one. So every, also, every fucking year, I get roped into drafting Steelers because our friend James Mastriani <laughs> hypes them up to no end. <laughs> yeah, and I, and I he he fools me. They're gonna be good this year, dude. They're gonna be good this <laughs> yeah. year. We, we will have that is a really <laughs> killer James <laughs> Mastriani <laughs> impression. <laughs> we will have James on this season, dude. What's up, buddy? dude? What's yeah. up, buddy? Hey, dude. bud. Dude. Hey. All I want you guys to know is black and yellow. <laughs> <laughs> you know what it is. Mm. Hell yeah. Every time I do I, it, I do it big. Now let's hear an Australian, <laughs> Chicago, and James Mastery. Yeah, Ryan Meharry can do that. <laughs> Hell yeah, bud. <laughs> Just turned into Polly Shore. <laughs> That's how you get into your Polly Shore. Yeah. <laughs> 
Do we have any, uh, y'all got any gambling locks this week? <sighs> Let's look at this spread. <laughs> gambling has been mean to me. Oh, we not allowed it's to It's a lock. That? Yo, no, that's true. Yeah, yeah. We have my ad. lock of the week. <laughs> our, our ad is oh, yeah, for DraftKings. Draft do you guys yeah. do, uh, uh, oh, is this a DraftKings podcast? It's, yeah, I do DraftKings. Oh, okay. Do you guys, uh, so are we not allowed to mention like prize picks or anything like that? No, I mean, don't whatever. say nobody else. All right. <laughs> then dra- if it ain't DraftKings, don't mention it. We're also a Pepsi XOXO Zero Kings. podcast, and you're drinking a Coke. <laughs> yeah, what? Oh, oh, I, that's oh. not why I did not bring that in here. <laughs> I brought it in here. We're, I drink full sugar <laughs> Coke. We're also, <laughs> we're also a Dannon podcast. <laughs> <laughs> get that Chobani <laughs> out of here. Get that Chobani out of here. Not as much in the Greek yogurt. Get that Oikos out of here. Yeah, Oikos. Yeah, Oikos. Yeah, we are Dannon and Oikos. We have an official yogurt and an official Greek. We're, we're a Ziggy's podcast. Oh, no. Oh. Ziggy's the official yogurt of a girl brought this over to Carl's house and left it in the fridge. You need to stop eating that your body and eat this Ziggy's. Like, That's the same shit. It's got like extra bacteria in it. I don't know. I'm worried about Better your Better for your gut health. Uh, NFL spreads week four. Let's That's see. what your doctor said. You look like a Ziggy's guy. <laughs> you eat that Ziggy's late at night? Yeah, you gotta stop eating that Ziggy's late at night. All right, Jags Falcons. Let's talk about that since I got Trevor Lawrence. What's the spread? Plus three Falcons, but minus three Jags. <sighs> it drives me. Cr- At least the Falcons finally lost. Yeah. Um, but Falcons plus three is kind of enticing as mediocre as it is. The Jags. The Jags have been playing mediocre, but I still would take Falcons money. Where is it? Is it in Atlanta? It is. Really? Where is it? No, it's in Jacksonville. It's in Jacksonville. Oh no, it's in London. Oh yeah, because it's. I just saw oh, the game of the year: Bills Dolphins this week, ten a.m. Is it? Yeah, <laughs> it's the early game. Oh, I thought it was in. What's the one that's in Germany? Chiefs, Chiefs, Dolphins in a few weeks. It's. Uh, I'm fucking livid about this. Is that six thirty a.m. Pacific time? Six thirty in the morning Pacific time. Possibly game of the year. Huge, like Tyreek Hill versus the Chiefs. Gigantic game. 6.30 in the morning uh, Pacific time. And, and so it's like, ah, I mean, I'm going to get up and watch it. Uh, and like, but what, what, the, like, what time is it on in Germany? What? Yeah. what uh, oh, it must be like 8 o'clock or something. What time is it on in the country that they don't give a shit about <laughs> yeah. American football in? It's at on, least they care about it in London a little bit. It's on at 3.30 in the afternoon. Guys, just put it, it in prime it. time. Yeah. Like, make it a night game. Make it a night game. <laughs> Why? Why are you doing this to us? If yeah. only Kadarius Tony could stay healthy. Oh. <laughs> if Tony could stay if healthy, only he has, <laughs> he's so wiggly. <laughs> he can break Kadarius. tackles. Get him in open space. They're all Sky Moore has all the potential in the world. <laughs> <laughs> Rashi Rice. <laughs> Rashi Rice proving not to be just a jump ball catcher. <laughs> the Dolphins receiver he's finding, speed. He's finding open spots in zone defenses. <laughs> All that speed is similar to the Warriors three-point shooting. Right? It creates spacings. It multiplies upon itself. So the biggest spread of the week, as it stands currently, is uh, Jets Chiefs at Chiefs minus nine and nine a half. Nine and a half, yeah. Now... Jets defense pretty good. Yeah. They're not gonna score a lot of points. The 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 Jets. If they score at all. Yeah. It's so crazy the they almost is... won that Patriots game. Yeah. The yeah. ball was on his hand in the end zone. I think the Chiefs defense is pretty I think they're gonna be pretty opportunistic in this game. Um I could see the defense scoring a lot of points. But I don't. I don't know if I. Would, I don't know if I would. What'd you say? Nine and a half. Nine and, nine a, half. and a half. Feels like a lot. So they got to win by ten. Yeah. I feel like they can. The Chiefs got to win by ten. Yeah. I feel like they can. Do I think that. they can do that. You know what? I'm gonna say take it. And if you lose, don't bet your house. Yeah, don't listen to us at any don't, point. Yeah, please yeah. don't listen to us about this. I don't know shit. We're filling time, right? Yeah. <laughs> and only take one Prilosec. Or what is it? <laughs> no, Pepsi. 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 Take as much Prilosec as you want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we <laughs> fucking sue Prilosec. them. Blame them. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> don't, don't. This is a Pepsi podcast. Yeah. <laughs> Get that Prilosec out of it. Uh, we're all doctors. <laughs> take Prilosec. <laughs> no, we're all doctors. Take the Chiefs plus <laughs> minus nine. <laughs> yeah. uh, I think I, I'm calling a score of 31-16. 31-16. I like see it. it. What's the points over under then? Uh, forty-two and a half. All right, so so you're saying take the over too? Take the over. Mm. Love mm. it. No, 
I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, again, don't listen to us. Let's just this this is gonna be a a a, a trial run here. And we're going to only do one game this week. And if I win this game, next week I'll do two. And if I lose, next week I'll do three. Uh, so, <laughs> Sounds reasonable. Yeah. So You're going to chase it. Chiefs, Jets. I'm saying Chiefs minus nine and a half. Mm-hmm. Final score of the game, 31-16, over 42 and a half points. Love it. There we go. That's Finn Carl's. Carl's lock of the week. Lock of the week. Did you guys do the NBA on NBC? That's the sound of the man working on the J. Betting on the J line. Let's see. Did you guys do any like YOLO bets at the beginning of the year, like pick a Super Bowl winner or anything like that? I should. I mean, we did. I didn't do anything. Oh, we didn't do bets. No. No, we, I we drove met to bets. Nevada. <laughs> <laughs> um, I bet the Saints over for wins because I thought it was silly. Uh, okay. Silly? This is oh. S- S- silly so easy money. <laughs> how low yourself, the so. over under <laughs> was because I think they're a decent team. And, <laughs> and <laughs> we're going to have that song take us out. <laughs> That's yeah. the yeah. sound of the man working on the chain. <laughs> 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 This Shout out to Chris Berman, still doing this shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is our outro now. Yeah, we got to play it. I'll send you this video, Kevin, and you can play the song at the end. But that's my lock of the week. You guys got anything to add? Nah, man, excited for more uh, wild football. It's, yeah. It feels like the season's finally really kicking into gear. kicking into gear. It was fun last week. It, it delivered this week. Yeah. Yeah. Delivered. There, there were football. probably a couple of great games that we didn't even get to. Oh, dude. The script was scripted this week. Oh, yeah. you could tell the strike oh, so You want to plug anything? Uh, go Cowboys. That's it. No, cut that shit. Out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not that my, my fucking show. Uh, we'll see you next week right here on Foosballs. Have a good night. Later. That was a headgum podcast. <laughs>